The task study was initiated in order to provide the practicing physicians who do in TAVI with tool, a practical tool, to uh, be able to assess and predict the risk of score, a stroke during TAVI procedure. Um, and by that, facilitate the decision making on which patient should undergo um, embolic protection device during the TAVI procedure. So after evaluating multiple procedures, and we focused only on pre-procedural parameters, meaning these are parameters that are available to the practicing physician before the procedure. Intentionally, we did not use any parameters that are available either during or after the procedure because these obviously do not help the physician prior to the procedure. And the main predictors that we found is um, several ones. The one, uh, history of stroke, peripheral vascular disease, low BMI, uh, the use of non-balloon expandable valves, and um, a few others. Um, and by that, we designed a score, relatively simple score with uh, five points, and we allocated the patients into low, intermediate, high, and very high risk uh, for stroke during the procedure. The key findings were that uh, patients who are grouped either in the high-risk group have a nearly a four-fold increase in the risk of stroke and patients who are allocated to the very high-risk uh, group have nearly tenfold increase in the risk of stroke during the procedure. I think the main uh, learning points from these studies are two and two potential impl clinical implications. The first one is that we can take this simple risk score, the task score, and use it in every patient before the procedure. Patients who are designated as high or very high risk should be considered for embolic protection device during the procedure and by that perhaps we can mitigate at least part of the risk for having a stroke during the procedure. The second uh, uh, potential implication of the findings in this study is um, that perhaps in future studies that we evaluate embolic protection devices we should um, screen and enroll specifically patients who are considered high risk for stroke and by that we may be able to um, um, to have to, f to be able to find uh, clinical efficacy for embolic protection device in this subpopulation of high risk patients I think there is some more work to do. The two things that we are looking forward to move with this uh, specific topic is first to add anatomic variables like calcium score and anatomy of the aortic valve and ascending aorta. And the second thing is we definitely have to move forward and validate this risk score in a larger cohort and we are moving uh, forward with these two issues. Thank you.